Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your ninth CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about styling specific elements within other elements in HTML, um, and of course using CSS styling. So uh, an example of this might be if you have a, an ordered or unordered list that contains links within it. Uh, for example, if you're creating a menu or something, and you want to style just the links that are within the unordered or ordered list, um, and not any other links that might be within a paragraph or something on your web page, you can actually do this by specifying uh, which elements you want to go to and then the elements inside of that. And if this sounds confusing, we'll do a couple examples of it so it doesn't so it isn't too bad. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it's not it's not bad at all. It's pretty easy to do and uh, probably something you're gonna be doing a lot of if you're gonna be using CSS for um, any type of work online. So uh, let's just get into the code now and see what's going on. So right here we have um, a header div that we've been using throughout the past couple tutorials. Um, just to give you something to look at instead of a blank web page. And this right here is actually corresponds to this code. Uh, we have a div with an ID of header, and inside this div we have a header one, a set of header one tags, and uh, we've just centered that just to make it uh, look a little bit nicer. And we've actually styled this in CSS in our styles.css file. Um, we've set a background width border margin, and we've also set a bottom margin uh, just so that anything we add in here doesn't come up and touch this here and make everything look a little bit cramped. Uh, especially if we decide to add another div or something like that. So now let's get into actually talking about the topic of the video, which is styling elements within another element. Um, I'm not sure if there's a specific name for this or whatnot, maybe nested elements, I, I'm not sure. But um, So let's actually do an example of this. So let's say right here we want to style uh, whatever's inside of this div here, the header that's inside of this div, uh, and not any other header on a web page. So let's come over here and create a second header and a header one to be specific. And we'll say, this is a second header. And if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now we have our first header, which is inside the header div, and a second header that's just within the body of the web page, uh, not in any particular div or anything like that. So if actually we come over here to our styles.css, and we style just the body of the web page, uh, the, let's say we want to change the color, for example, of these two headers to blue. Um, and actually, let's just come over here and add a paragraph too, just to give us something to contrast this with. This is a paragraph. And if we just come over here and refresh, okay. So we have a couple things to contrast this with. So if we want to change the color of the header just within the um, div here to blue, um, there's a couple ways that we could actually change the color of text on the web page, and we can do this by using um, either the body element selector and just saying color blue. However, if you notice if we do this, all the text on the web page, including inside and outside of this div here, changes to blue. And that's not something that we're going to want. So uh, let's say, for example, we want to change just the header ones to blue. We can say h1 using another element selector. And if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that uh, while the paragraph isn't blue because we're only selecting header one tags, uh, both of these header one tags are blue. And that's not something that we want because, again, we just want to select uh, the one that's inside of the div with the ID of header. So another thing we can do, uh, and it's another way to do that, we can say header, and we can say color blue. Um, so if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that just this is blue, but if we add any other text to the header, for example, uh, let's say we come over here and add a paragraph, text we'll say, and we refresh, you'll notice that this text is also blue, and uh, what we want is just the header here. So we'll, actually, let's just change this to something a little bit bigger. And we'll say within a div. All right, so now we have um, two lines of text within our header now. Um, so what we want to do is just style the header and not any other text without here uh, within our web page. So there's actually a way we can do this, and we can specify this by saying header uh, by selecting using our ID selector and selecting this header right here, uh, this header div. Uh, which corresponds to this div with the ID of header. So we're basically right now is turning every every bit of text within this div to blue. We would just want to turn the text that's within these uh, two header tags here to blue. So in order to do that, what we can do is if we come over to our styles.css page, we can say header, and then we'll add a space between our selector, and we'll say h1. And you notice that this is actually blue because we're selecting the h1 element within the header uh, uh, within the header div or the div with the ID of header because uh, we're using an ID selector here. So we can say header, then space, h1, and if we actually save this, come over here to our web page and refresh, you'll notice that now just the text within the header has been changed to blue, and this is the desired effect that we want to achieve. 
Um, and again, this works with things like lists. You can style lists to have something or have like a paragraph located within a list or a link located within a list and style just that and not any other text or links that are on a web page. Um, just to give you another example, let's say we want to change the paragraph that's located within this div here and not this paragraph or any other text here. We can do this by coming over here saying header P uh, for the paragraph element uh, and then we can say color blue and we refresh and you'll notice that just this paragraph is blue and this one is not. So if we come back over here, uh, for example, let's say we want to uh, change the paragraphs and the headers within this um, header div with the ID of header, we can say H1 and we can say P. And if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that we actually, actually what I think I did here is if actually we can say, if we create a H1 tag over here, and within this h1 tag, put a paragraph. Let's say paragraph. And we come over here and do that. So we'll say h1 p. And we're going down another level, and we're styling just this paragraph that's located within this set of h1 tags that's located within this header div. So uh, just to see what that looks like in the code, we're, sele we're selecting our header div here, uh, which corresponds to this. Then we're selecting our h1 div within that, which corresponds to this. And then we're selecting our paragraph div which is within the h1 div, which is within the header div, which corresponds to this paragraph, which is within this h1, which is in this header. So we're styling whatever's in here. Um, and sorry that I kind of explained that wrong to begin with, but that's basically how that works. So basically, this is how you go about styling elements that are located within other elements um, within a web page. And again, this comes in handy with a bunch of different things. And if you're going to be using CSS um, pretty heavily to design web pages or for clients or something, uh, this is something that you probably want to get a get going to get the hang of, and it's pretty simple to do. Um, and the more you practice, the more you get the hang of it. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. Um, you can also contact me using the Technical Cafe contact page on the technicalcafe.com website, or you can uh, send me a tweet at twittercom jamiemcg, which is my personal Twitter account, or you can use twittercom technicalcafe, which is the Technical Cafe Twitter account, and I'll check those both and get notifications on those. So please feel free to send me any questions, comments, or suggestions, and have a great day.